First of all, I think the added value consists in the international perspective. Of course, academics in the university here have uh, international networks, have often spent time abroad, but it is different to have a board that focuses its discussion on international state of the art. Um, the big project here is one of institution building and building an institution that is driven by academic excellence. It's very important to have these comparative um, possibilities of saying, you know, how does what we do here relate to what is done elsewhere? And if we do want an institution that is driven by excellence, what does that mean in an international competition? I believe the SAB has contributed um, in several ways to building the institution. First of all, we've spent quite a bit of um, time and attention on intramural research funding. Uh, what does it mean if a university wants to promote its excellence at the in the best possible way? What does it mean um, to have some internal research funding, given that of course there are external funding possibilities outside? What do you want to do that is complementary to the outside external sources? What could be the right kinds of seed funding? I think another contribution that I think might prove to be particularly long-term in its effect um, is, is the contribution to the fellowship program. The idea is that it would be a pilot process to recruiting um, academics, professors that would stay here, not just be recruited, but stay here in the long term. And I think we've uh, helped to define a process that would be able to really uh, recruit the best in the field, the ones with the highest potential, uh, and to give them a possibility to thrive here. So I think that that uh, has been a, a valuable contribution. And in all of this, um, I th what we try to do as a board is to bring together the perspective of what would best promote academic excellence with concerns of how do you build an institution in the process. So all of these things, uh, be it the research project processes or the um, recruitment uh, processes, were supposed to be pilots for how things can be done in the so-called target university, the university one wants to build together. I think the next challenges that the project or IDEX Lyon has to develop is getting from what I've described as pilot projects, models of good practice, to an overall institutional functioning. So now is the critical moment where one has to go from the small sort of kernel um, functioning to the big procedural definition. We saw that um, the, the scientific environment, the academic environment that people come to in, in quite a few areas is extremely attractive, definitely competitive in a world arena. Of course, any institution always has to see where are the areas where we are particularly attractive. There's no reason to assume that that will cover the whole institution. One has to make sure, any institution has to make sure that they select where they have the best chances of, of, of recruiting internationally. There are challenges that are still uh, kind of long-term homework. One should also mention that. I think one is the salary levels. It's okay at the entry level and maybe in the intermediate level. The, the quality environments are definitely in place. Uh, and the question is, how can one make sure that uh, one selects the areas where one has the best chances of recruiting people? And then how can one not only get them to come, but to, to also retain them?